25 years, the smartest 30 minutes on television. From the campus of Wake Tech Community College, get your crania in gear. It's time to play Brain Games. Competing today, Longleaf School of the Arts and Apex Friendship High. Let's welcome the players in a little round of, oh, very good extension there. Good job, you guys, all right. That's good high five right there. Oh, man. And the crowd goes nuts. That's all right. Hello and welcome to Brain Game. I'm your host, Mark Roberts. Welcome everyone and thanks for joining us here at Wake Tech's Northern Campus. We love being here. It's a great place to do Brain Game. All right, let's get started by meeting the players in today's game. First of all, from Apex Friendship High School, we have Audie, James, and Will. That is Apex Friendship High, everyone. Next to them, from the Longleaf School of the Arts, we have Des, Tia, and Katie. That is Longleaf School of the Arts, everyone. All right. Little business item here. Players remember correct answers in brain game earn you 20 points. An incorrect answer or failure to answer in the allotted time can result in a loss of 20 and sweep any category for a 20 point bonus. And that can really add up. We start the game with a new twist on a sing along in pop up culture and we'll test our players' knowledge of a viral sensation, a controversial actor, and a hit linked to the Oval Office. So, Cranian Gear players, here we go. We'll start with pop up culture with Apex Friendship. Tariq can tell you all about what beautiful thing that has the juice and is a big lump with knobs. Our team's answer is pass. Uh, that goes over to Longley School of the Arts. Um, our team's answer is it's corn. That is correct. All right, sticking with Apex Friendship. Who was the one who was once the highest paid actor on TV with two and a half men until a series of TV interviews that inspired the song Winning? Our team's answer is pass. That goes over to Longley School of the Arts. Um, our team's answer is pass. Charlie Sheen, the answer there. Not, not a good example. Well, yeah, that's good. Okay, last question for team number one. Paul Vasquez inspired a song when he went viral with his awe over what uncommon twin atmospheric phenomenon? Uh, our team's answer is pass. That goes to Longleaf School of the Arts. Our team's answer is pass. Uh, it was a double rainbow. All right, now going over to Longleaf School of the Arts for pop-up culture, here you go. Debbie loves what creatures. She thinks about their whiskers and ears. She wants them with bow ties and on rainbows, but laments that she can't hug every one of them. Um, our answer is kittens. Judges? Cats, kittens, we will take that. That is correct. All right, sticking with Longleaf School of the Arts. What 44th U.S. president inspired the song, Sings to the Shotties? Um, our team's answer is pass. That goes over to Apex Friendship High School. Our team's answer is Obama. That is correct. All right, sticking now with Longleaf. According to a songified Redhead's YouTube rant, contrary to what might have been said on South Park, what do have souls? Um, our team's answer is gingers. Gingers is correct. We cover it all in Brain Game, all right. Now it's time to say hello, governor as we turn our attention to present and former state leaders. In headliners, these governors and former governors have spent a lot of time in the news. We start with Apex Friendship. He has been mentioned as a possible 2024 vice presidential candidate who is the governor of Florida. Oh, our team's answer is DeSantis. That is correct. His father was governor for 12 years, who was governor of New York for almost 11 years until he resigned in 2021. Our team's answer is Cuomo. That is correct. And last headliners for Apex Friendship. In 2020, she was the subject of a kidnapping plot. Who is the governor of Michigan? Our team's answer is pass. That goes over to Longleaf School of the Arts. Um. Our team's answer is Gretchen Whitmer. That is right. Okay, now we're sticking with Longley for headliners. He fought off a recall in 2021 and is mentioned as a possible 2024 presidential candidate. Who is the governor of California? Um, our team's answer is pass. That goes over to Apex Friendship. Our team's answer is pass. The answer there, Gavin Newsom. All right, sticking headliners uh, with Longleaf School of the Arts here. His autobiography is titled Broken But Unbowed. Who is the governor of Texas? Oh, 
Um, our team's answer is Abbott. Uh, that's correct. You got it. All right. Last headliners for Longleaf. She was the lieutenant governor of New York. Who became the governor of New York when Andrew Cuomo resigned? Um, our team's answer is pass. That goes over to Apex Friendship if you would like to try. Our team's answer is pass. Kathy Hochul, the answer there. All right, let's change it up here. Knowing nicknames is the key to our next category. As we take a trip across America, we'll see if our teams can score points at, with their knowledge of famous cities and the culture that they inspired. All right, let's take it across America with Apex Friendship. What U.S. city on Lake Michigan did Carl Sandburg call the city of big shoulders? Our team's answer is pass. That goes over to Longleaf. Our team's answer is pass. Chicago, the answer we're looking for. Now, Apex Friendship, what New Orleans nickname is said to be a laid back contrast to the apple of New York City? Uh, our team's answer is pass. Goes over to Longleaf. Um, our team's answer is Nola. Answer we were looking for is the Big Easy. All right, moving on now, sticking with Team One, Apex Friendship with Across America here. What Alabama metro area has a minor league baseball team called the Rocket City Trash Pandas? I want a jersey. Our team's answer is pass. Uh, that goes over to Longleaf. Our team's answer is also pass. Huntsville, the answer. All right, now let's do Across America with Longleaf. What southern locale sports the nickname Music City USA? Our team's answer is Nashville. Nashville is right. What nickname for Philadelphia comes from the translation of the Greek words in its name? Um, our answer is Philly. Uh, that incorrect goes over to Apex. Our team's answer is Delph. Answer we're looking for is City of Brotherly Love, Philadelphia. All right, let's close out across America with Longleaf. The steps of the Capitol building in what city contain a medallion stating 5,280 feet above sea level? Our team's answer is pass. Apex Friendship. Our team's answer is pass. Denver, the mile high city. All right, coming up. It's the sound of silence in word power. And what if by air and two or maybe three by sea, we're looking for some unlucky characters coming up next in Arts and Lit. Stay tuned. Brain Game will be right back. Welcome back to Brain Game, everyone. Got a great game going on. Apex Friendship High School at 40. Longley School of the Arts sitting at 80 right now. You can turn up the volume a mile high and you still won't hear it. In Word Power, today's answers will each contain one letter that is silent. All right, starting with Apex Friendship with Word Power. Use a bob to go straight to the pipeline for this five letter word, which inspires the Latin name for lead. Our team's answer is pass. Uh, that goes over to Longleaf School of the Arts. Our team's answer is pass. Plum is the word. All right, sticking with Apex Friendship. It can be walkin' or rockin', but this nine letter word is a general term for infection of the lungs. Uh, our team's answer is pneumonia. That is correct. And we told you to study for this week's show what six letter word means to give a task to. Our team's answer is a sign. That is right. Okay, word power now for Longleaf School of the Arts. Feeling out of whack? You need to do this five letter word and straighten yourself out. Just a suggestion. Our team's answer is relax. Uh, that is incorrect, Apex Friendship. Our team's answer is pass. Align, the answer we're looking for. All right, still Longleaf School of the Arts. Not sure of the answer to this clue? Go out on one of these four letter words and take a guess. Um, our answer is limb. Limb is right. And rounding out word power, you're lucky if a growth turns out to be in this six letter condition, meaning it will not spread.
Um, our answer is pass. Apex friendship. Our team's answer is benign. Benign is right. All right. It is better to listen to cautionary tales as opposed to living them. That's one of the topics in arts and literature, including one that makes you think twice about using cheap glue or a tiny boat. All right, we are starting arts and lit with Apex Friendship. Jan Vermeer painted this work depicting the man providing some instruction to the girl using the virginal, a type of harpsichord. What is its title? Our team's answer is pass. Longley School of the Arts. Our team's answer is pass. Yeah, don't use harpsichord much these days. The music lesson. All right, this is still team number one, Apex Friendship. This novel is a Scrabble bonanza between the Pequod and the Queequeg. What American work features this ship and this character? Queequeg. Our team's answer is pass. Longley School of the Arts. Um, our team's answer is pass. That is the classic Moby Dick. And last arts and lit for team number one, most of her poems were untitled, though first lines like, because I could not stop for death, have become titles. Who is this American poet? Uh, our team's answer is pass. Uh, Longley School of the Arts. Um, our team's answer is Emily Dickens. That, uh, I'm sorry. It's Emily Dickens' son that was very close. Our judge, yeah, had the judges right here. Nice try. All right, now let's just go ahead and do uh, Arts and Lit with Longleaf. This painting takes place after the title event, and you can see the engineer's son's body in the water. Who is this boy who flew too close to the sun? Um, our answer is Icarus. Icarus is right. Ninth graders turn savage. Anyone who's been to middle school isn't shocked. What novel tells this story of boys trapped on an island? Um, our answer is Lord of the Flies. That's in middle school can be traumatic. Lord of the Flies is right. And last arts and lit for Longleaf, this Colombian author represents magic realism to many high school students. Who is this author of 100 Years of Solitude? Um, our team's answer is pass. Apex Friendship. Our team's answer is pass. Gabriel Garcia Marquez, the answer we're looking for. All right. Stay tuned. We're getting ready to play Name Game and then jump into some serious subject matter when Brain Game returns, everyone. All right, welcome back to Brain Game, everyone. We have a substitute now competing. Apex Friendship now has Kamali in. Let's welcome Kamali to the show, everyone. All right. We have a great game going on right now. After the second round of play, we have Apex Friendship at 100 and Longleaf School of the Arts also at 100. Two names are about to get all the attention in Name Game. Each answer will begin with either Charles or Wolfgang. Teams only need to know their last name. So think of Charles, think of Wolfgang, and uh, let us now go over to Apex Friendship, and yours will be Apex, you, you get Charles. Charles in charge for Apex Friendship. Here we go. What American created the comic strip Peanuts and all of its characters, including Snoopy and Charlie Brown? Our answer is Schultz. That is correct. The tragic kidnapping of his son overshadowed his solo flight across the Atlantic. Who is this American pilot? Our answer is Lindbergh. That is right. He wrote an important book in 1859 about his trip to South America on board the Beagle. Who is this British naturalist? Our answer is Charles Darwin. Darwin is right, and Apex just ran name game. Good job. All right, Longleaf, here we go with your name game. Name these famous Wolfgangs. What Austrian chef opened the restaurant Spago and invented California pizza? Um, Wolfgang Blitzer? Uh, that is incorrect. Apex? Our answer is pass. Wolfgang Puck is the chef guy. All right. He wrote his first music at five and went on to write the operas Don Giovanni and the Magic Flute. Who is this Austrian musician? Um, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Nice job. Threw in the middle name, too. That is correct. All right. And last name game for Longleaf. He played bass for his father's namesake rock band. Who is this musician and son of famous guitarist Eddie? 
Um, our answer is pass. Over to Apex Friendship. Our answer is Van Halen. That is correct, Wolfgang Van Halen, that is right. All right, players, get your pencils and scratch paper out. It's time to play Crunching Numbers. You now have twice as much time to answer the questions. If you're still stumped, then you can pass to the other team and let them have a crack at it. So don't get all excited here, we'll be all right. All right, human calculators, here we go with Crunching Numbers. We're gonna start with Apex Friendship. If a cubic polynomial is multiplied by a quadratic polynomial, what is the degree of the polynomial that is their product? Our answer is five. Five is correct. What is the smallest positive number that leaves a remainder of one when divided by three, four, and five? Our answer is pass. Longleaf? Our answer is also pass. 61, the answer to that equation. And last crunching numbers for team one, the square root of 48 can be written as what whole number times the square root of three? Our answer is pass. Longleaf. Um, our answer is pass. All right, the answer we were looking for is four. All right, now we're crunching numbers with Longleaf. If a cubic polynomial is added to a quadratic polynomial, what is the degree of the polynomial that is their sum? Um, our answer is three. Three is correct. What whole number is the product of log base three of 25 and log base five of 27? Need an answer, Longleaf? Anything? Um, our answer is pass. Apex friendship. Our answer is pass. Six, the answer to that one. And last crunching numbers for Longleaf, what is the least common multiple of 42 and 70? Our answer is pass. Apex Friendship, would right. you like to try? Our answer is six. Uh, answer we were looking for is 210. All right, players will need to stretch their scientific knowledge in one of the day's most difficult categories. Our ride through rocket science spans the spectrum of known universe and shows some love to creepy crawlers, which is a good thing to do. All right, this is rocket science, apex friendship. What term describes when one astronomical object passes in front of another, usually a star? Eclipse, our answer is eclipse. Eclipse is right. From the Latin for kernel of a nut, what is the term for the inner central part of both a cell and an atom? Nucleus. Nucleus is right. And last rocket science for Apex. What four-legged animal also comes in a river variety and is a member of genus Equus? Need an answer, Apex? Uh, uh, our answer is pass. Longleaf? Our answer is horse. Horse is correct. Good deliberating. All right. Now, let's do rocket science with long leaf. What general term applies to any kind of rotating storm, no matter what hemisphere it's in? Our answer is pass. Apex friendship. Our answer is cyclone. Cyclone is the right answer. Now, back to long leaf. Some worms are flat, but some are round. What is the name for the phylum of round worms from the Latin for like a thread? Our answer is pass. Apex friendship, would you like to try? Our answer is pass. Nematode, the answer. And last rocket science for long leaf, what species is donated in an acid-base reaction? Our answer is pass. Law Apex friendship. Uh, a hydrogen ion, our answer is That is correct, proton or hydrogen ion would works there. Nice job, Apex, all right. When we return, we have a globetrotting question that has nothing to do with California love, but everything to do with Tupac. You're watching Brain Game, the smartest 30 minutes on television.
Welcome back to Brain Game. We hope you're playing along on your TV or on your favorite device. If you want more information about the smartest 30 minutes on television, go to WRAL.com and type the search words Brain Game for the season schedule, final scores, and to watch past episodes, which are mighty good fun. The regular round of play in this particular game ended with Apex Friendship at 280 and Longleaf School of the Arts with 140. Up to 100 points are now on the table and it all comes down to our game's final question. Each team determined how much to risk on this final globetrotting question during the commercial break. Teams, here is your all-important final question. Tupac died in 1572. Tupac Amaru, that is. He was the last emperor of what indigenous people that were ruled from present-day Peru? Stay tuned. The final answer and final scores when Brain Game returns. Welcome back. For the globetrotting question, our players may have gained their knowledge from a map or a cartoon. Tupac died in 1572. Tupac Amaru, that is. He was the last emperor of what indigenous people that were ruled from present day Peru? Let's go over to our teams. Uh, first, let's start with Longleaf School of the Arts. Please tell us your answer. Um, our team's answer is the Incans. That is correct. You risked the full 100 points. Brings their game total to 240. All right, now. Let's go over now to Apex Friendship. Please tell us your answer. Our answer is the Incas. Uh, they risked one point. That brings their game total to, oh, you were correct, by the way. That gives them 281. And with that final score of 281, ladies and gentlemen, Apex Friendship is today's Brain Game winner. All right. Rock us applause. This is good. All right, congratulations to Apex Friendship. Please join us next week when Research Triangle High School takes on Southern Lee High School. And great audience today, too. Thank you for watching Brain Game, the smartest 30 minutes on TV.